Welcome back to Hotham's Apiary. I'm Jason Hotham. And in this video, I'm going to be building a system that I will use to help melt the wax off of the old frames so that I can reuse the wax and so that I can reuse those frames. You won't want to miss it. Okay, so basically, this system is going to be like a tower of hive bodies stacked on top of each other. And in these hive bodies will be the old frames with just wax on there, maybe some wax and some leftover food, leftover pollen. I'm going to create steam and that's going to go up inside of this um, tower and melt the wax. So I need to gather some stuff out of the apiary today. I need to get some hive body, queen excluder, plastic inner cover, outer cover, and of course some hive bodies that have uh, frames of old wax. So I'm going to get that stuff, load it into my car, and then head back home and start working on this system. All right, so there's the outer cover, plastic. Hive body, hive body with some frames that I want to melt. Some more frames to melt. An empty hive body. Queen excluder. And another empty hive body. <sighs> all right, I have all the things that I need now for my system to build this uh, this wax melting tower. So I'm gonna head home and uh, get working on the other components that I need. All right, so I'm back home. I took pretty much everything out of my car, put them in the garage. Um, what I need to do now is I need to basically fabricate out of this outer cover here. I have to fabricate some kind of a funnel so that when the wax drips down, it can be funneled into a container that will be underneath a bucket or a pot. And I need to basically, I have to fabricate something that will fit exactly, exactly inside the hive body um, because I don't want any steam to escape from any cracks or openings, so I have to basically make it fit exactly inside this hive body. Before I go on too far, I just want to say I'm actually also going to be posting a link into the description below from a video that inspired me to build a system like this. So if you are interested to see how another beekeeper came up with a way to melting wax with a system similar to this one that I'm about to build, uh, check out that link below in the description. All right, let's get to work. I just found in the garage um, a cover that I actually started working on a couple of years ago. I had the I had the idea to also create something similar based on uh, some instructions that I had read online. I actually forgot about this that I actually started working on it. It doesn't look so great. The problem with this is, is that um, if I set it just on top of the high body like that, then um, this side will also be open. It just, the steam will go out. It's just not a good, it's not really a good design, but I can still try to use this. What I might do is I just might cut out what I need to cut out and then I can try to bend and shape it so that it fits exactly inside the high body. I can still use this cover without actually having to, uh, to ruin another one. I think if I just basically cut around this edge here, cut that out, I should have enough metal left over that I can with a hammer, I can bend it and shape it so that it will fit inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out and see what happens. Always wear safety goggles and gloves when you do this kind of work.
tube to fit on top here pretty good. I'm just going to have to shape it so that it actually fits inside. And uh, But first of all, I need to file them down so they're not too sharp. metal worker, not by any means. Better, better, better. All right, so this is the this is the finished product. It's not a thing of beauty. I had to basically bend over this whole side here because in order to use this in my boxes, I have to make sure but that will go on there like that. We have to make sure that the next empty hive body that I put on there still fits. Otherwise, I'll have these huge gaps around the side and then all the steam will, will exit out of there instead of going up and steaming out the, the wax. So I think I can live with that. All right, so that's all I'm gonna do for today. Um, I've ordered a steamer. I should be here next week. And once the steamer gets here, we can set everything up and we can try it out. All right, so the wallpaper steamer came today in the mail. So I'm just gonna unpack it and uh, check it out. All right, I checked out the steamer. I put like five liters of distilled water in there and uh, I turned it on and after about 15 minutes, the steam started coming out. So it looks like it's gonna work. Um, the reason why I use distilled water, um, because tap water has a lot of minerals in it. Um, if you use it in a steamer, after using it a few times with tap water, you'll have to descale it. All right, so let's get this tower set up. The reason why I put it on some bricks to raise it off the ground is so that the hose from the steamer can go underneath so there's nothing laying on the hose itself. Run the hose through it. I also had to put a bucket under there. I almost forgot to put the bucket underneath. So next, I put another high body on top of that. And the queen excluder goes on top of that body. Queen excluder will catch basically all the big chunks like pollen and um, we'll keep that funnel from getting all kinds of chunks on there. Now put a uh, high body that has some frames in it right on top. You can see there's wax on there, there's honeycomb on there. Make sure it's lined up good. And one more with just a few frames in there. So next I cover it up, I put the uh, plastic cover on and hopefully we won't lose any steam. I'll put a couple of these bricks in there. So that gives it all a little bit of weight. All right, so now I'll turn on the machine and uh, I'll check back in about 15 to 20 minutes just to see if, um, if anything has happened, if any of the wax has melted. Also, I wanna see if any steam is coming out of the cracks that's uh, from the different hive bodies. I might have to tape up those cracks, but we'll see. All right, see you in a little bit. All right, it's been running for about 20 minutes now, and I'm just gonna take the top cover off um, to be very careful I have to be very careful, steam is very dangerous, so I have to go slow. Oh yeah, 
out of that steam coming out. Oh, that's working great, actually. A lot of steam coming out of here. Oh, it's windy today. You can see how it's starting to melt off there. Dripping down. So it seems to be working out okay. Um, I'm just going to have to wait a little bit longer. Dripping in quite a bit, actually. I had to already swap out one of the buckets because uh, it was melting so quickly. Uh, you can already see that the wax is starting to cool is hardening on top. What you see underneath is basically like leftover syrup from last year. I'll just throw away that syrup and, of course, keep the wax. Place another bucket underneath there. All right, it's been about an hour, so I'm going to go ahead and take this top box off. And um, I'm not sure how much wax is underneath it. I can just put the cover back on, flip it over, put it back on. a lot of pollen on there. There's a little bit of wax left, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that steam down a little bit more. All right, let's take a look at this queen excluder. That's pollen. And let me give you a look inside. Here you can see the funnel did what it's supposed to do, and there's still steam coming out of there. So all in all, I think it worked. So I just took apart the tower and this little piece of wax this long piece of wax was inside the, one of the boxes. That's pure bee wax right there. So I need to clean up the rest of this stuff. Basically this was the box that was on the bottom. Some of the wax had um, leaked down through. So I'm going to have to uh, come up with a better way of sealing around, this, sealing around the edges here so that the wax doesn't leak down into the box. This is how the frames come out. Nice and clean. All right, that's it. So we built a tower using components out of the apiary. And of course I had to build a funnel and I had to buy a steamer, but it was pretty low cost considering I could use pretty much everything that I already owned. Let me know how you liked the video. Let me know if you have a different way of melting the wax, the beeswax. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the bell. And I'll try to get some more interesting videos out to you as soon as possible. So stay safe, stay healthy, and have fun beekeeping.